What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different to what I usually do, but in today's video, I'll be showing you how to mod PC VR, as in the version that runs on your PC, Beat Saber. I'll show you both the old method that everyone uses and the slightly newer method that you need to log into with Steam, so if you don't trust it, you can still use the old method, which is what I use. Anyways, first of all, I have the game on Steam. All you need to do is head across to Steam, search for Beat Saber, right-click it, choose Properties, then in the Betas tab over here, from the drop-down, select Legacy 1.29.1. After doing so, a small update will be downloaded and we'll have an older version of Beat Saber on our PC being 1.29.1. Simply launch it up once and close it. Once you've done exactly that, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the Mod Assistant. Simply scroll down here, click Download here, then click modassistant.exe, save it and open it, then hit I agree, head across to the Options tab, click Enable, one-click installs him, choose both Beat Saber and Playlists. You can also use Model Saber if you'll be changing your player model and Saber model, etc. Each time you click one of these options, this menu will disappear. Simply just do it for both of these, and when it's done, that's it. You should now have your game modded. You can head across to the Mods tab on the far left, let it load, and tick whatever mods you want, such as Playlist Manager, Beat Saber Downloader, etc, etc. There's tons of mods here, and it's super easy to get going. After you've ticked all of these, simply click Install or Update. Everything will be downloaded and or updated. Then fire up the game, and it'll be modded. Simple as that. In the bottom left, you can check the game version to verify you have these, the correct version selected. But let's say we want to try the new method. Just keep in mind, this one will require you to log in with Steam. So if you don't trust it, don't do it. In the description down below, you'll find another download link, this time to BS Manager. Simply scroll down here, past this image, until you see Usage. You'll see download the latest release. Click this. Then once it opens up, you can download the setup over here. So setup.exe. Or alternatively, you can download a zip version that you can just run without having to actually install. For me, I'll just download the normal installer and open it up when it's done. Simply wait for it to install and shortly after, you'll see a shortcut on your desktop and it'll start up here. Cool. There we go. Now, all we need to do is select a version. You can see it's picked up 1.29.1 from Steam and there's a whole bunch of versions here that we can pick from simply by just clicking it. That's it. We can also import a version if you have one installed somewhere else on your PC. So if we select maybe, I don't know, I think one. 32 has some mods, the latest one doesn't, I don't think. Just click download, and if you have it ready, it'll ask you to log into Steam. This proves that you own the game and allows it to download the files from Steam themselves. If we sign in, we'll need to confirm our Steam guard, and shortly after, you'll see a progress bar at the very bottom as it downloads the different versions of Beat Saber. So now it's downloading 1.32. If we head across to my existing installation with existing mods, you can see that we have Oculus, FPFC, and Debug Mode, as well as Advanced, where we can add our own arguments. On the map section, you can see your custom songs that you have downloaded. On the models tab, you can see your custom models, avatars, sabers, platforms, blocks. And finally, on the mods tab, you'll get a disclaimer. So I'll accept. And it says, make sure you've installed the necessary mods to use Beat Saber, blah, 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 blah. Simply just make sure you have whatever mods you want ticked here. Click install or update. And it's pretty much the same as the other one. Just now we have extra tabs here. If we head across to 1.32, you can see that there's no mods for this version, but we can fire it up, check what maps we have and add custom ones, I think, etc., as well as models. But for now, I don't think this version has mods. So instead, we'll need to stick to slightly older versions. Anyways, you get the point. The good bit about this is that you don't need to necessarily worry about things as you can check the shared contents tab all the way at the very top to download maps here. Search for maps and download them and they'll be shared across all of your Beat Saber installations. And on the models tab, the same goes here. If we click add a version at the very bottom, we can select other versions here. I think maybe 1.31 as mods. Anyways, you get the point. We can add the latest versions here and mod them as we see fit. On the settings tab at the very bottom, we can customize the program's appearance, installation folder, enable one-click installations for different kinds of content, choose a language, and that's it. So on the maps for our current version, if I click add, we can search for mods here. Simply choose one, download, very similar to the OSU website. I do appreciate that. It'll download them just like that. It'll be installed in our game. Super simple. This is a super powerful manager if you don't really want to head across to the beatmap slash playlist section of your game itself. If you'd like to manage it from your desktop, prepare a whole bunch of things and hop straight into actually gaming instead of trying to type and search with your triggers in VR. But anyways, these are two separate options. BS Manager is by far much more fleshed out, but it does require you to log into Steam with an account that 
owns Beat Saber. If you're not comfortable with that, don't use it. Just use the older version then. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.